Hello guys and welcome back to another Ripple news update for you. Now we have the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit case update and apparently the SEC have filed a motion to strike Ripple's key defense. Now this story and more will be coming your way but uh, if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing for daily Ripple news updates and Ripple XRP price prediction. But not only that, we'll also be bringing you daily crypto news updates and crypto price analysis. So do feel free to subscribe. Now, since that's out of the way, let's get straight into this case. And uh, as we all know, of course, in its recently filed motion to actually strike, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission says that Ripple, including its CEO, Brad Gallinghouse, and of course, the co-founder, who they have all been sued, uh, Chris Larson, actually had noticed that its offers of XRP could violate federal security, securities laws. Now, how they knew about this and why would they, would they even think that way? I have no idea, but Ripple, uh, uh, but SEC uh, happened to believe that is the case. Now, of course, Ripple's key fair notice defense is actually based on the premise that um, the SEC had actually failed to notify the company about its um, its alleged violation of the securities laws. What Ripple are saying is that uh, uh, under the fair notice uh, uh, scheme, uh, the SEC were supposed to actually uh, notice us or notify us on whether we are violating the securities laws in the first place. They did have to wait eight to nine years for them to straight go on and file a lawsuit they are the securities and exchange commission for something they are supposed to regulate securities and uh, when you see someone violating the securities laws you first notify them of their wrongdoings so they correct themselves before you uh, go ahead and file a lawsuit so that's what ripple are trying to say here but uh of course, the SEC were quiet for more than 10 years before they filed a lawsuit. Now, also the agency, however, um, the SEC, has actually insisted that it has been enforcing security laws in the cryptocurrency industry throughout all these years. And they also say that the motion that Ripple Gallinghouse actually read the DAO report, which states that raising capital with crypto is just is actually subject to securities laws. Now, uh, the SEC say in their motion that, I'll quote them, they say, but the SEC was undeniably enforcing the securities laws in the digital asset space in which Ripple operated and using official agency channels like enforcement actions and the DAO report. And also SEC staff were also providing views in no action letters, staff guidance and speeches by senior agency offices. So that's what Ripple, uh, so that is what the SEC is arguing. But of course, the SEC also argues that Ripple failed to seek a no action letter before the agency started investigating the company in April 2018. And uh, talking about this in their motion, SEC say that Ripple was on actual notice that the securities laws could apply and took no steps to actually obtain no action relief to either clarify what it thought might be unclear. Of course, an avenue that was being pursued by other market participants at the time. And uh, they went on to say after it was notified about the investigation, Ripple came out with the regulatory uncertainty that uh, Gallinghouse would tirelessly repeat during his numerous interviews, saying that and yet the agency continued to conduct its uh, sales but of course, while certain exchanges, of course, did approach the SEC to find out whether or not they could list XRP, uh, the regulator couldn't provide clarity simply because it cannot disclose ongoing investigations to the public. So what he's trying to say here is that um, they were investigating Ripple back in April 2018. Now, uh, when you're investigating someone for wrongdoings in, uh, uh, in violation of securities laws, and um, another company comes to you and says, yo, uh, I want, and, and tells you, hey, I want to list XRP in my company and sell 
to my customers so that they could trade. Am I allowed to do that? Now what you do is you keep quiet, not answering yes, nor no to that question, just because you're saying that um, you are investigating that same XRP company in the first place, so you don't want to reveal your ongoing investigations. Now what type of crap is that? Uh, we all know silence means yes. So if I ask you whether this is right or wrong and you don't reply, I'm guessing it's right. I'll keep on doing what I'm doing because when you come to me and say it's not, it makes no sense because I asked you and you didn't give me an answer. So the argument that uh, they kept quiet answering this uh, exchange trading platforms, uh, they failed to answer them because they were on an investigation does not make sense at all. But that's just my opinion, of course. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I really want to hear what you have to say about this story in the comment section. Um, thank you. So what he's trying to say here is that um, they were investigating Ripple back in April 2018. Now, uh, when you're investigating someone for wrongdoings in, uh, uh, in violation of securities laws, and um, another company comes to you and says, yo, uh, I want and, and tells you, hey, I want to list XRP in my company and sell to my customers so that they could trade. Am I allowed to do that? Now, what you do is you keep quiet, not answering yes nor no to that question, just because you're saying that um, you're investigating that same XRP company in the first place, so you don't want to reveal your ongoing investigations. Now, what type of crap is that? Uh, we all know silence means yes. So if I ask you whether this is right or wrong and you don't reply, I'm guessing it's right. I'll keep on doing what I'm doing because when you come to me and say it's not, it makes no sense because I asked you and you didn't give me an answer. So the argument that uh, they kept quiet answering this uh, exchange trading platforms, uh, they failed to answer them because they were on an investigation does not make sense at all but that's just my opinion of course let me know what you think about this in the comment section i really want to hear what you have to say about this story in the comment section um thank you very much for watching this video until the next update bye, -bye.